I'm here. Just a second, sweetheart. I'll be out in a second. No, 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 I, I'm not busy. I'm just, uh, I, I said I'll be out in a second. Ah, uh, sweetheart. Uh, no, I, I'm perfectly fine. Just... Yes, I'm packing. No, it's not what Farmer Gardner said today. Perfectly fine with my job. It's just... Uh, sweetheart? Can you come close? Ah, there we go. You're already helping. Just need to calm down. I just need to... Ah, feel you in my arms. Mm. Yes. I have been stressed. It's... It's hard to say. People have been talking about wolves in, out in the woods for a long time now. I know it's not because of me. I know I don't think anybody has suspected I'm here. Not since that true had always been gone. But they've called a monster hunter. And I need to leave. No, 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 no. Sweetheart, please, listen. I need to leave. I know I haven't killed anyone. I haven't hurt anyone. I know I haven't been like this for very long. More than a couple of years at best. But to them, that does not matter. They hired a monster hunter. They will bring that person to here. And if they find me... A so-called monster, capable of killing people. And someone who's also had a history of acting like a mummer. Hiding, playing a part, and... Maybe they won't look as hard for a wolf anymore. Then what else can I do? Sorry, let me... Please don't let my misdirected anger at you. I... Just trying to keep myself together right now. Sweetheart. You can't be freaking out too. Come on. One of us has to be the strong one right now. Okay, just... No, 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 no. Shh. Yep, it's a lot to take in, I know. <sighs> Just keep hugging me. <sighs> my plan... Um, my plan is honestly just get out of here. Anywhere. Probably follow that troubadour into the city. N not the near one. No, no, no. Not, not to Odessa. Maybe a couple cities away. Next port city over, maybe Castor. Maybe I might find to find another band there, or and then and then what? And then I, sweetheart, please, please. I've been stressing about this all day. I, I'm not. Oh. I've got a lot on my mind right now. I've had a lot on my mind all day. And that has been one of them. I meant what I said in those woods. Can you look me in these eyes? These eyes. These pale blue eyes. Or now. Uh, these golden eyes that only change when I'm with someone I can trust. 
These golden eyes that bear a secret only you, I, and anyone in the grave knows. That is not nothing to me. I have had you on my thoughts all day. I've wanted to stay. I've wanted to work better hours. I've wanted to go in the city to get a better job, get training in a school. I just wanted to get away. I just... I merely wanted to get away. Except for one thing. And one thing alone has pulled me back to this sweet, cozy little village. A warmth radiates in this sweet home. A warmth that this dear, cold fly can't seem to fly away from. A light that draws me in as any creature of the night would be drawn to. I hold that warmth in my arms now. And I look in these sweet eyes, these pure and precious eyes. And that light I see fills my very soul, if I still have one with a radiant, illuminating light. And that light, and that warmth in my heart, that light in my soul, it's from you. It's from you. And now, with a hand on that sweet face, <laughs> caressing those cheeks, wiping a single tear, <sighs> oh. and even as I run my fingers through that lovely, luscious hair, Tell me if you think I'm only telling you a mummer's trope, a fairy tale, a lie. Am I truly yours? Can you hear that in my tone? Can you see it in my eyes then? I am truly maddening in love with you. <laughs> from our getaways from the village, hiding in the woods, picking berries and eating secret dinners underneath the stars, snuggled by a campfire, To our talks of running away with the circus, running away with the troubadours and mummers. <sighs> to gushing over our stories and fairy tales. <sighs> tales of adventures, wild stories of great peril, mystery, intrigue and love that got us through every one of those trials. <sighs> it was never nothing to me. Never just sweet words, never just a fun imagination, nor a wild tale of fiction. It was always a way of me saying what I would go through to be with you. <laughs> and what I would be will.
willing to do to keep you in my life. <laughs> Feel these hands. Feel a hand. Place one of yours on my face now. I'm still warm. I've been told that a soul that's been lost has no more warmth left in their heart. <laughs> While talking to that preacher, whether it be your doing or another, he confirmed what I always expected, that there's still life in me, still a soul reaching for something, And so if you also feel the same, come with me. It's the hardest thing I could ever ask of you. And I will talk with your father and ask him for his blessing to let me please let you come with me. And then we can return. And if you are truly that light, warmth, and love that completes my story, will you run away with me? Will you run away with me? Will you run once more on another secret venture past the woods? Far beyond anywhere we've gone before. And make a story of our own. A mystical, magical, wondrous, adventurous, fulfilling story of two star-crossed lovers escaping a daring monster hunter and also that we could be together will you come with me because i do not want to leave and will even face death in the eyes however that may come if it means that I got to spend my last moments with you here in my home. Or will you... <laughs> that you will come with me? You will. Yes, thank you. <laughs> your sappy poet. I've always been a poet at heart, and I will never, ever let that talent go so long as you're in my life. So long as it brings a sweet glistening in your eyes. Oh, those beautiful eyes. Oh, I could die looking at those and die happy. Oh, I could drown in the sea of sweet, sweet, fantastical beauty inside that universe I call your eyes. <laughs> and keep my heart warm beneath those rosy cheeks that always turn red every time you and I talk like this. <laughs> Let me hold you a little longer. Oh. Yes. I mean it. This is all I've ever wanted. 
having you here. This is what made me second guess myself. Truly. Anything else? Oh, um. Actually. There was. But I can't tell you here. Well, because I... Why not is because I... It's not appropriate right now. No, trust... Trust me on this one. I don't wish to say it with a heart of gall. Or one that is overcoming sorrow even if it is with you. I want to say it where we'll mean the most to both of us. <laughs> Remember our first escape? <laughs> the first time I pulled you aside from the Autumn Festival? Took you by the hands. Past the boundaries, past the torches and festivities. Into the woods and by a creek. <sighs> and showed you your sweet glowing rose. Meet me at that spot. Tonight. I'll finish packing. And I'll talk with your father. By the time you come back from your chores, I have a feeling that he will be willing to let you come with me. <laughs> he knows me well enough. I know he'll let me. <laughs> Meet me by that spot before the glowing rose. The spot where we had our first kiss. Have your things ready. <laughs> because, my love, we're going on an adventure. Promise you'll meet me there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. love you, my sweet, sweet dear. <laughs>